Hey YouTube. Hello internet. This is Esley. This is Matt. Wait, Matt's not here, but we're gonna be doing some collab videos soon. I think I'll I'm gonna discuss that with him. That sounds fun. But this is a commentating video of me thanking a few people and telling you what FM3 is and how FM started. So if you're looking for gameplay, please check out the previous video. To first get in, Freddy's Maze started as a scary maze clone. Me and Matt came out from school one day, we were bored, and we developed that. And a week after, Matt showed me a poem about the purple guy because Five Nights at Freddy's was the hype, the hype, <laughs> the lore, and all that. It was really strong during that time, and you know, yeah. And, um,. I was like, hey, let's make that into a game. So that's when Freddy's Maze 2 was born. And before I continue, Freddy's Maze 2 has been updated. I patched a few bugs, so it's on version 1.2. There was no new content added, so please don't expect any of that. But you can check that out if you want. Um, I updated the download links on YouTube and the, on my site. That's how Freddy's Maze was born. And now, FM3, Freddy's Maze 3 is the continuation of the story math we had. Um, and his newest poem is called Hurtful Love. It's going to be in the little text document in the download game. Um, and Freddy's Maze 3 is basically Five Nights at Freddy's 4 in a 2D overall perspective. It has the maze-like structure within our previous um, installments tied in with the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 game mechanism. I tried replicating the AIs as best as I can. Not perfect, but I still think they're really good. To keep the difficulty of the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 gameplay mechanism, I had to cut down the maze-like structure um, and concept. I had to cut it down within night 6, 7, and 420 mode. Yes, I went all the way as far as um, implementing an 8th night because all I had was night 6 in Freddy's Maze 2, so I feel like I did it that half ass. so I kind of added a bit more nights in this version. So... Um... I, did, I had to cut down the maze-like structure to keep the difficulty of the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 um, gameplay mechanism as it progressed through the nights. But the difficulty is still there. For example, on, on Night 7 420 mode, if you get distracted at least once, that's it. You're dead. So you have to keep, have to keep focus on what you're doing. Um, obviously, there's patterns to go throughout being the nights, but um, I had to cut that out and keep the difficulty. But next, 1 through 5 do have the maze-like structure. Like I said, this is Five Nights at Freddy's 4 2D in an overworld um, perspective. Now, um, I'm going to show you the menu. Like I said, this is in gameplay footage. But um, here's the 100% uh, save file. Obviously, here's the menu. Now, in the video, because Snagit is terrible, um, there is an animated background, but it looks still probably in the video as you're seeing this, but it is not still. There is an animation going on. It's just very faded. Um, and this one as well. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you have an extras menu. Here are the credits if you want to read it. If you didn't catch it in the README file. But um, I'd like to thank Mr. Scott Cawthon. Most of the resources used in, I mean, in Freddy's Maze 3 belong to him. The sound effects, the jump scares, the graphics, all that. Um, like one to two percent of the graphics, the story, um, and the voice recordings, and the game engine, the code, the uh, gameplay, the gameplay, and all that belong to me and Matt. Um, but Scott Cawthon pretty much gets <laughs> a lot of credit, most of the credit for this game because we used his resources, and without his concept within this original concept with Finance and Freddy's Born resources. This project want to be a reality. So I'd like to thank Mr. Coffin, and I hope to. Uh, I'm looking forward to more of his um, future games, and I know he's gonna keep it up and do awesome in his uh, career, in his lifespan and career path of game development. Um, I'd like to thank the special credits, which I don't remember the names. Obviously, Matt, who is my best friend, and I call him my brother. Um, he was a story writer, like I said. Um, I'd like to thank 
Alex, which is Matt's brother, he's been there for me through tough times. He's given me advice. I got my friends Ian, Juan, um, Chris. I got Christy. I got David, um, Claudia, and of course I have to include my family because they help me through tough times. Give me great advice and all that. So I have to thank my family members. Um, you know who I'm talking about, <laughs> um, especially my parents and my sister. So, that was the people I had to thank. Scott Cawkin, special thanks, and obviously, I also got to thank this guy. I don't even know him, but I use some of his uh, gra well, some of his um, little animation arts. He somatic made some good icons for the animatronics, so I have to thank him for that as well. So, like I said, thank you, Mr. Cawkin. Thank you, Matt, for joining me on this project. And thank you, everyone, who helped me through tough times. Um, me, This isn't the end for me and Matt. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll do some collab videos. We'll probably work on a few projects together. But um, obviously, you know, th this is the end for Freddy's Maze. I'm not going to keep continuing to make any of them because it's it's complete. A Freddy's Maze 3 turned out how I wanted it, Freddy's Maze to be. Raise Maze 2, I look back at it, it's terrible. I, at least I fixed some bugs though, because as a game developer you have to make patches for games and all that, so I did fix bugs in that. But um, I still wasn't satisfied with Freddy's Maze 2, so I had to make Freddy's Maze 3, and it's, and it's a good game, in my opinion. It's a good project, and I, it turned out better than I thought. So this is S-Link, thanks for watching. The download in the game of the game is in the description and on my website www.slinksrealm.zerofees.us I do not pay for a domain, that's why you got zero fees in there. Obviously zero fees, I ain't paying jack shit. <laughs> but, that's it. This is Freddy's Maze 3. Stay tuned for more projects, stay tuned for more videos. Like I said, I don't, I'm not really active on YouTube and the internet as much as I used to be, for obvious reasons. This is S-Link, peace out. I hope you enjoy the game, and there might be a game built page just later on when I get more free time. Thank you for watching, and peace out.